Hey guys, how are you? I got my giant pad here. Oh, I got my giant pad here. So, um, what if you were a Python programmer? So this quick vlog is going to give you an idea about what it's like to be a Python programmer. And I think it's going to give you some insight about Python. So, you have to look at programming as being a super skill that you have. It's like, it's such an important skill set. Of all skills I have, all the things that I've learned over the years. Um, I would have to say that my programming skills are probably my most valuable. Now, I'm not an active developer these days. I, I manage a code base and I have people work for me, but I don't write code much these days because I'm just too busy. But still, my ability to write software, my ability to write code is such an important skill. And I'm a big advocate. Everybody learns how to write code, even if even if you don't want to be a coder, learn to write code. There's all these advantages. So when you're a Python programmer, here are some things you can expect. Um, you're going to find that at minimum, the job you're going to get as a Python programmer is going to pay you two to three times more than the average salary. That's at minimum, you're going to get that if you get a job. Another thing you can do as a Python programmer is you can start getting into freelancing. It's hard to be a freelancer if you're uh, an engineer. It's hard to be a freelancer if you're, uh, I don't know, whatever, pick a profession. You know, HR, human resources person, you know. There's so many professions where you have to go work for somebody. But when you're Python programming, any type of program, well, not any, but most types of, many types of programming, freelancing is an option for you. You get that career open to you. So freelancing is uh, one option that being a Python programmer gives you. Another thing that you can do as a Python programmer is you can create your own apps, write your own software, start a business. Again, being a programmer is having a superpower. It's such an important skill set. One of Python's biggest strengths, actually it's probably its biggest strength in my opinion, is its flexibility in terms of how it's used in a real world. Many programming languages can do many different things, but most are very focused in a particular area in the market. Python is a little different that way. Python is extremely flexible. You find Python is used in web app development. Some huge web apps have been built with Python. It's used in server automation. You can see Python used in um, laboratories. Python is used in uh, video game production houses. Python is quite flexible. Python is used in AI a lot. Python is used in machine learning. So Python is very, very flexible. Biologists will tell you that the most successful species are the most flexible species. That's why humans are the dominant species on the earth today, because we're the most flexible. We're very, very intelligent, but we're very flexible because we have these fingers. And it allows us to make tools and use tools. That's, you know, whales are pretty smart, but they got flippers, so they can't make any tools. So Python's flexibility is its biggest strength, because it, when you learn Python, you'll be able to explore all kinds of different avenues of, uh, of making a living, whether it be as a freelancer, a web developer, AI, machine learning, server automation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's all these different things you can do with Python. It's very cool that way. It opens you up to a lot of opportunities. And because Python is used in all kinds of different areas, it's used in both small and big business as well. It's just cool that way. Every language has its pros and its cons. Every language is superior in one area or another. Python, I think, its superiority is in its flexibility. Another big advantage about Python is that uh, though it's extremely powerful and an effective language, it's pretty bloody easy to learn. Python has a code, they call that the syntax, and it's called the Python code syntax, and uh, its code is uh, very readable. It's almost like reading English, unlike other languages. If you compare Python to code to Java, uh, you see it's much more readable. So I think that's part of its strength as well. To add to Python's flexibility, that it runs on many different types of computers. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebooks. If you look at Swift, for example, great language, only runs on iOS devices and Macs. Very limited in comparison. Again, that's part of its flexibility. Python is used all over the place. So what's the point about Python? 
you'll learn Python and you're going to be opening yourself up to a world of possibilities, maximizing the chances of you being successful. And even in the end, if you don't use Python in your work, you end up jumping to JavaScript or you end up jumping into PHP or whatever. You find that Python shares many of the same concepts of all these other languages. So that's one of the, you know, it's not just Python, by the way. That's one of the things about programming. Once you've learned one programming language, to learn others is much, much easier. In my own career, I've written commercial code in nine languages. Commercial code, meaning code I've either made money from or been paid to write code. I don't count the languages I played with on the side. So yes, Python, you learn it. Like most other languages, you'll be able to take 95% or more of what you learned in Python and apply it to JavaScript, apply it to Java, apply it to PHP, apply it to Swift, apply it to Ruby, etc., 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 etc. So there you go. When you're a Python programmer, I think you can summarize that you've opened yourself up to a maximum flexibility in terms of career choice, in terms of money-making choices. I think that's what it's like to be a Python programmer.